The USS Gerald R. Ford undergoes full ship shock trials off the East Coast. The first in class aircraft carrier tested to withstand battle conditions. But not all tests are done at sea. Arlena Wallace has an inside look at the shock trials that shipbuilders performed inside the gates. Here in the lab, shipbuilders use this lightweight shock machine to test parts identical to those on ships. It's a smaller scale version of what's happening at sea. A series of live explosives, the nation's newest warship, USS Gerald R. Ford, withstands shock trials. The Navy's first full ship shock trials for an aircraft carrier in more than 30 years. On a smaller scale, shipbuilders test some parts identical to those on the ship in a lab. So it's important to test these products because you don't want them to fail at sea. It'd be a lot harder to fix it there, but it also compromises the safety of the individuals on the ship. So we're testing it here in the yard. A hit to an enclosed circuit breaker. You know, so we'll end up striking the item in, in different orientations and at different elevations. My team is the data acquisition team. Every run that they do, we're collecting the data to see if the breaker is tripped. So I think it's pretty cool and I'm learning a lot. Consider this. USS Theodore Roosevelt was the last aircraft carrier to withstand full-scale shock trials in 1987. Now advancements in parts as reports are sent to the Navy for final approval. USS Gerald R. Ford is expected to come back to Newport News Shipbuilding for modernizations and repairs. For Focus NNS, I'm Lena Wallace. Back to you, Brian. All right, Lena, thank you so much for that. An amazing story, an amazing ship, and a proud day for Newport News Shipbuilding and the United States Navy.